answer your question. And I can do it with sources, both scholarly and the fat phobe's favorite, anecdotal. But to answer succinctly, since you're probably not gonna watch this whole video, fat phobia kills more people than obesity. Let's explore why. So official research first. This is from the Canadian Medical Association Journal. And funnily enough, Marissa, the person you're mocking with your comment is from Canada. Let's explore. Fat shaming is harmful to the health and may drive weight gain, said presenters at the Canadian Obesity Summit. Anti-fat bias is rampant in all parts of society, including medicine. The harms of fat shaming are well documented. Studies show that exposure to weight bias triggers physiological and behavioral changes linked to poor metabolic health and increased weight gain. You actually experience a form of stress. Cortisol spikes, self-control drops, and the risk of binge eating increases. The more people are exposed to weight bias and discrimination, the more likely they are to gain weight and become obese, even if they were thin to begin with. They're also more likely to die from any cause, regardless of their body mass index. So yes, fat phobia can also kill thin people. I'll go into more detail on that later. Fat shaming is also linked to depression, anxiety, low self-esteem, eating disorders, and exercise avoidance. There's emerging evidence that the severity of harm increases when people internalize weight bias and turn it on themselves. So basically, fat phobia leads to more fatness. Whether it be someone who's already obese or someone who is being teased for being obese even if they actually aren't. Which means that fat phobia actually causes cases of obesity. So fat phobia can actually be the catalyst to someone's death. This source says something similar. People who experienced weight discrimination and fat phobia gained weight as a result. Why? Because fat phobia makes people feel bad about themselves. And what is it that you love to mock fat people for doing? eating their feelings when they're upset. And of course, not all fat people do eat their feelings when they are upset. But if you're truly concerned about someone's weight going up, why would you ever take the chance that your mocking has even the slightest chance of making them more obese? I thought you cared about their health. Then there's the fact that even when fat people try to lose weight, fat phobic people make them feel bad about it. A fat person will be on a run on a public street and someone will drive by in a car and yell, it's not working. Or a fat person will be eating a salad and someone will pass their table and be like, it's gonna take a little more than that. So you don't like seeing fat bodies, but you also don't like people doing things that might help their bodies be less fat. Now let's talk about a TikTok famous example of fat phobia from 2021. This woman, Amanda Lee, uh, for months was having severe abdominal cramping along with so much pain when she ate that eventually she just stopped eating. She finally got in to see a GI doc. And when she told him all of this, doctor looked at her body and said, maybe not eating isn't such a bad thing and told her nothing was wrong. And if you're unfamiliar with how this story ended, Amanda's digestive issues were caused by colon cancer. Thank God Amanda decided to get a second opinion and the cancer was found. But had some doctor's fat phobic remark been the final say, she might not be alive today. And someone like you commenter would snark that she probably died of obesity when it would actually have been the fat phobia that killed her but I feel like you're gonna have more sympathy for a skinny person. So let's look at the most recent example of how fat phobia can also kill skinny people. You may recognize this woman. This video has been going around a lot lately. Her name is Brianna. As you see, Brianna's video was titled, The World's Obsession with Skinny Bodies May Kill Me. Brianna explains that she has been dangerously thin her whole life. Her current BMI is 16. She weighs 79 pounds. This is because she has ARFID and she said she has never been over 95 pounds in her entire life. She's 25 now. And I believe recently when Brianna was weighed by a nurse, the nurse complimented her on her low weight. Brianna even told her doctor that she's concerned because even though Brianna only eats junk food, her weight is constantly dropping. But the doctor said because Brianna is thin, he doesn't really see a problem. I'd also like to sidebar here that fat people are often told that the reason we're fat is because we only eat junk food. But in her video, Brianna says that her ARFID makes it so that she can only eat junk food. So wouldn't she be obese if junk food causes obesity? And Brianna didn't say that like, she's only eating, you know, a handful of chips every day. Because that's the other argument I always hear is that, well, fat people eat more junk food than thin people. That is not how Brianna has presented this at all. And speaking of eating junk, in her video, Brianna says that she knows junk food is bad for her. She's concerned because she does not feel good. She literally says in this video, inside I'm probably rotting because of all the junk food she eats. And if Brianna were a fat person, 
you, the commenter, would say, yeah, you are rotting inside. What do you think is gonna happen if you only eat Cheetos every day? So why is it that when a grown woman truly does eat things like Cheetos every day and expresses that she feels like shit, is told by people like you that she looks amazing and she should keep up what she's doing, simply because she's thin despite the junk food? A steady diet of junk food is either healthy or it's not. Just because Brianna is only 79 pounds doesn't mean that the junk food isn't affecting her negatively. So why won't doctors listen to her concerns? Why can they only see her thinness and praise her for it? Food for thought, no pun intended.